people should be looking at people that have been more successful as a trailblazing path to why they could do the same. The majority, the majority that any of us have podcasts is because of Joe Rogan, whether people like to admit it or not. <laughs> And you I can, happily admit it. Yeah, and like if if, if you think you know, oh, no, it's actually like Sam Harris, you know, like fuck you. It was Rogan. It was a hundred million dollar Spotify deal where everyone went, holy fuck. But so many well, people I started before that deal, but yeah, hundred yeah, <laughs> hundred million dollars. But it was ten years mm -hmm. of graft, thousands of episodes, well, nearly two thousand. So like, that's. But so many people are like, oh yeah, but he took horse dewormer or whatever it is. They want to hate him. So they don't have to come to the reality of what work is to be done. He is somebody who, whenever I say I really like Joe Rogan, I have to also say, I don't agree with everything he says. And then I say the thing that he said that I don't mind. But you know what? I don't like this. I, I say this the same as well, especially when people ask about Andrew Tate. I was like, the first thing I said was, I don't agree with everything he says, but I'm actually saying that just to protect myself, which is fucking bullshit. You should be able to like something someone said you're not here like hey i believe in everything they've done but suddenly when you say like hey i, I you know actually my girlfriend shows me andrew tate stuff and she goes i really like this and i go do you know how jealous i am that you can say that andrew tate uh it's something came up on a TikTok yesterday where he goes before social media when you broke up with a girl you never saw her again you didn't sneak onto her socials didn't check up with what she was doing she was just gone and he goes, imagine how easy it would be for so many people in the world if they didn't have the ability to keep checking up on their fucking ex-girlfriends. Mm. And he goes, and also he goes, dating apps are fucking the world. He goes, imagine how much more you could love the person you're with if there wasn't a line of bitches that were waiting for you on an app. And he's not saying bitches in a derogatory sense towards women. He's just being Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. He's being polarizing and whatever. So women are like, oh my God, I can't believe. And I'm like, listen to what he's fucking saying. He's actually championing the fact that if there wasn't so many options for people, that they might be able to have better relationships with women. Mm -hmm. But people don't want to hear that. And like, I'm sat there with a girl telling me she likes that. But I, as a man now, have to precursor everything that I say with, I don't agree with everything he says. <laughs> I, do, but I do hate a lot of things he said, but the same as Joe Rogan. I think he said some stuff that's stupid over the years. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean you can't like someone.